Hey, it's Earth Castle. A little while ago, I decided to make a community poll on whether I should make Rain World mapping tutorials. Since I've been learning it for the past couple of weeks, and if you couldn't already tell, I've been pretty heavily into Rain World recently. Most of you said you'd like to see Rain World content, so I'm going to try it out and you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. I'd recommend watching this tutorial on how to set up custom Rain World rooms before, so you can actually access them and play them in game. With that out of the way, today I'm going to teach you how to use the Geometry Editor in RWE+. The Geometry Editor lets you place blocks, pipes and poles to make the basics of your rooms. On this side panel you have the options of what you can place. For now I'll just go over the important stuff, which is all of these. First, there's the classic block, which places down a square the size of a single tile. This kind of acts like brushes from hammer, and allows you to make the basic geometry and the geometry to place tiles on in the tile editor, but we'll get to that another time. The air is used to remove any geometry and replace it with air. The ramp acts as a half block and is used to diagonally smooth out surfaces that might look blocky otherwise. The platform, which is used similarly to the block except pressing down while on top of the block, will let you move through it, and from the bottom you can jump through. This works in the same way as Terraria platforms, if you've played that. The crack can be placed on blocks and ramps, and acts as a path that can be crawled through to get to another location, similar to the many vents and pipes and filtration system. The beam, better known as the pole, is used to make poles. You can make the poles as long or short as you want by adding them on top of each other, and pressing space rotates the pole sideways. If you didn't already know, these poles can be climbed and stood on to reach higher areas or to traverse around rooms. This group of tools are all used to create basically the same thing, so I'll explain all how they work together. These tools are used to make pipes. First, make a two tile deep hole in wherever you want the pipe entrance to be, and place a shortcut entrance at the bottom. If you're making a pipe that connects to another pipe in the same room, make a pipe exit the same way wherever you want the pipe to lead. Then use the shortcut to link them up. The shortcut is the path the slugcat takes to get to the other pipe. If you're making the pipe lead into another room entirely, place an entrance at the end of the shortcut like this. You pretty much need an entrance, even if your room isn't connected to any others, because without one you have nowhere to spawn or enter the room. If you have any creatures in your room, you'll need to have a pipe leading to a dragon den, so that after they eat or eat you, they'll have somewhere to deposit it. And that's all I'm covering in this video. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other content and that's all for now. See ya!